All right, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the iFi ID. The rear of the device, you get the Toslink Mini Spadif input. Remember, you can use the adapter. Very much for watching this video. Thank you, iFi, for the extreme amount of patience you had on this one. So if you got that reference, please sound off in the comment section. I'd like to know how many other degenerates watch my videos. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at the iFi IDSD Diablo. It's iFi's very own high-end DAC amp for those of you who need that hellish power boost above the rest while on the go. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. So as far as the contents are concerned, there, there's there's a lot here. So brace yourself. You get the Diablo itself, naturally. You get the iFi Traveler, a carrying pouch designed to house the Diablo, your music player, and any other accessories so that you may be fully equipped while on the go. You get the iFi iPurifier 3. It's an adapter meant to clean your USB audio experience if your computer slash device suffers from these types of jitters and issues. You get a Pentaconda dual 3-pin XLR cable, which is really convenient for say a home theater setup where you got you know the JBL speakers that can either be plugged in with RCAs or maybe 3-pin XLR like I do. A blue female USB-A to male USB-A cable. A Toslink Mini to full Toslink adapter. A 3.5 millimeter to fourth inch adapter. A male USB-C to male USB-A adapter. The power supply, which by the way is universal and does include the standard two-prong tech for North American users and maybe South American, not sure if they use the same tip, but you can straight up just push that out and it comes right off. Then you can just replace that with whatever tip you got, giggity, and it should do the trick. An AC to male USB-C adapter, which by the way, you are gonna need. This is the tip that comes from the power supply. You just plug that in here, and you can plug that in to the Diablo. The instruction booklet and warranty card, and not one, but two snacks for the kids. Woo! Oh, and just a quick thing about the iFi iPurifier 3. This does not come with every single Diablo. It only comes with the first thousand units sold. So I do recommend you go ahead and jump on it if you want to get that better value proposition because of this addition. That's well, it's a free addition. They they shouldn't have to include it, but they do it anyway. So you know, thank you, iFi. So now let's talk about the build and I/O. Now the Diablo's build quality is a. Uh, it's quite interesting. It's made of that type of metal that doesn't really feel like metal when you touch it. Give it a squeeze though and you'll realize that this is in fact a very sturdy metal. Now it features a battery size of 4800 milliamp hours that should last you approximately 12 hours on eco, 9 hours on normal, and 6 hours on turbo. Now keep in mind these are the ratings that are provided by iFi so probably calculate about 85 to 90 percent worth of that that's more or less what you would expect to be getting here now full disclosure before we continue when i first plugged it in my computer didn't detect it whatsoever so i went onto iFi's download hub typed in the diablo serial number then downloaded the windows usb 2.0 drivers the current driver at the time of writing this review being 3.2 unfortunately this solution did not work so i was forced to uninstall 3.2 and install the legacy 2.26 program instead. Still didn't work. So I contacted iFi about it and was sent this replacement unit right here. Thankfully, this unit works fine, which means we can continue with the review. So on the front of the device, as you can see here, you get a fourth inch port, a 4.4 millimeter Pentacon port, the gain switch, which swaps between eco, normal, and turbo, more on the power requirements in the sound slash amplification section, an LED, which displays the current status of the device. I'll go ahead and show what each color means on screen. Feel free to pause the video at any moment. And the volume knob, which also turns the unit on and off. Now on the rear of the device, you get the Toslink Mini Spadif input. Remember, you can use the adapter included in the box to connect a regular Toslink cable, a 4.4 millimeter Pentacon output to daisy chain the analog signal to another amplifier, a USB-C for power only, and a male USB-A port for data. And so now let's get to the sound slash amplification portion of this review. They didn't have enough from either section, so I just kind of mashed them all together because it's kind of the same thing. Kind of, you know, but not really. Anyway, so on the HD600s, I ran them at about 1 p.m. on Eco, 11 a.m. on Normal, and 10 a.m. on Turbo. On the ZMFO Tours, and yes, review and comparisons coming up soon, I ran them at noon on Eco, 11 a.m. on Normal, and 10 a.m. on Turbo. On the High Feynman Arias, I ran them at around 1.30 p.m. on Eco, 11.30 a.m. on Normal, and 10.30 a.m. on 
on turbo. So needless to say, you should just stick to eco and normal as much as possible. Now I doubt you'll ever need that big dick turbo energy, but uh, you know, uh, I just got in a pair of Taconi Blues, the uh, Fostex T50RP mod for review soon, so we'll see, I heard those are pretty power hungry. Now as far as sound is concerned, I didn't really hear anything off or strange here whatsoever. The Diablo sounds beautiful and crystal clear as every device should sound. No crackles, no jitters, no skipping of any kind, oh, and no USB incompatibility issues either. Now I tried to listen for any sort of difference between running it plugged into the wall versus on battery battery power, and if there is a difference, it's so minuscule, you shouldn't even concern yourself with it. Now I did mention that this combo here does include a complimentary iFi iPurifier 3, so for those of you lucky enough to purchase one of the first Diablo units, or for those who have a Diablo and are wondering if it's worth purchasing the purifier, this one's for you. So after flipping back and forth between a couple of tracks, I can mostly say this this isn't really worth your time. See, here's the thing. I did in fact hear a difference when using the purifier. Now, it did remove a noticeable chunk of that noise within tracks. The space between the instruments became much blacker. It was kind of like, uh, like picking up a shell at the beach and then kind of blowing away the sand at it. It was still a little sandy, but far less than it, what it used to be. You could just uh, appreciate the shell a little better. Not that any of you go out to the beach anyway. Now, I also noticed a tiny little reduction in sibilance in the consonants region when listening to Cowboys from Hell by Pan. Terra. The S's were equally as forward, just less sharp. Ultimately though, the differences I heard aren't a life-changing experience in any way, so, so I'd prioritize with upgrading your headphones and setup and everything else before getting to this. Unless your PC is really, really giving you jitter issues and you've tried, you know, every DAC and amp on the face of the earth and nothing fixes it and you've tried other motherboards, etc. Maybe it's just the power in your house that's just terrible. Well then here's your solution. If however, you've got the SummitFi headphone of your dreams, all other high-end components in your audio chain, and you're already listening to lossless FLAC files, and yes I heard about the Spotify news, I am excited about that because I use Spotify on the daily for non-audiophile purposes. Don't burn me in the comment section. And yeah, that's, that's huge, but anyway. <laughs> Free advertisement for Spotify, god, okay. Anyways, if you've got all of that, then F it. Pick one of these up. Be warned though, at $130, it really is just that cherry on top for flexing purposes. But hey, audio really do be like that. So to conclude this video, what you have here is a one unit solution for pretty much every DAC amp problem you will ever have. It's got a powerful single-ended output, a powerful balanced output, an optical input for a console slash TV setup, a pass-through for additional chainability, and on top of that, it's battery operated for on the go usage. The only thing that Diablo is lacking is a remote to control it from afar. For example, let's say you're using it in a living room setup and it's like across the room and you're sitting down on the couch and you're like, hmm, well, wouldn't it be great to turn up or turn down the volume from here? Nope, you have to get up and adjust it from here. Now at the price of $900 though, it does cost you a pretty penny. Considering all the various options out on the market at the moment, including iFi's very own IDSD signature, the Diablo proves to be a very worthy choice, but for only a select few. By the way, comparison between the signature and the Diablo coming up very soon, hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss it when it comes out. The only two main reasons I can see for absolutely needing this particular unit, this Diablo, is if you need to pass your analog signal to another balanced amplifier that can take advantage of that. Also, if it includes the purifier, it's another cherry on top that might just make this a worthy purchase for you, because if, if you're discounting the 130 off of the price tag, then you're really only spending $770. And, you know, between the eye signature and this, if you do really want that Summit Fi, like, ooh, I got the Diablo experience, well, an extra, you know what, 120 bucks from that isn't really going to kill you. So then it would make sense. But hey, it's just wait for the comparison, please. Well, anyway, that's going to end the video here. Um, I hope I made your purchasing decision a little easier because at the end of the day, that's kind of the whole point of this channel. So if I did that, I will have accomplished my goal and I'm glad that I did so. So you know how it is, affiliate links down below, the iSignature down below as well, the like, the comment, the you know what. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you iFi for the extreme amount of patience you had on this one. And I will see you in the next one.